Wicked, 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 wicked. Wicked tones, you know what I'm saying? There's just like, I want to give you guys little movements and little, if they help, they help. If they don't, tell me to go fuck myself because I don't know what you want from me. But there's like every, a lot of gyms have this dual cable pull. Sometimes they're further apart. doesn't matter. There's one on the other side that's further apart, maybe like six inches between the pulleys. doesn't matter because the pulley's going to go where you want anyway. It's on a fucking adjustable track, right? So understand that it doesn't have to be this one. It could be even one that's raised up higher. But there's a lot of guys that aren't understanding like how to lock on to their lower lat and get their lower lat to release to like let their arm pull forward and squeeze in. Like all the guys that we all know are way too, con too concerned with this. Like guys look at themselves in this. This is a strong position here to pull here. And there's nothing wrong with this pull when we're trying to hit upper back. There's nothing wrong with it. That's why there's a bunch of different pulls we can do on this machine that are going to be beneficial to back as long as we're keeping that hip back and we're posturing up tall. So my hip from the side here, my hip never is always behind my shoulder line. I'm never here. I'm never here ever. So I'm always just resting on quad and then arching up and locking down my arms into my body. So if I want to do that high pull, it's just up here. But what I'm re recommending for people who want to hit like lower lat and get lats to just squeeze, we're going to posture up like that, but we're going to really curve. We're going to take a supinated kind of roll in. I don't, we're not going to get like super, I can't get super rotated. Maybe some people can. You're going to rotate in. You're going to lock that elbow down and in here. So my shoulders lock my elbows down here. So when I go to pull, the first thing that cracks is going to be this elbow pressure down. So the line of my elbow is pulling right into the line that I want to hit in my back. Just like up here, my elbow is hitting up high. I'm hitting upper back. Here I'm keeping it tucked and low and down and pulling through to low lap. But my posture keeps me erect, so my hands pull out and I rock up through this break in my hand and my elbow. So I'm always pressured down here, and I'm always pressured down here, and kind of pulling around the body. I can't pull straight because I'll tip into myself, so I want to open up, right? You can, but this is just kind of like something I would use as a warm-up, or either like a warm-up or like a burnout finisher type thing when you're just trying to move light, lightweight and feel little areas. So if I'm here and I set up, I want to get weight on my feet here. So I'm really digging into my feet and I want to set here. So I push my head back and my chin down and I'm just breaking. If I don't do body movement, I'm just doing this. This is about as far as I can pull. But when I pop chest, I can rock. So I'm breaking on elbow down and then up through both sides. Up. But I have to have this hanging down feeling pushing on my elbow here to stay up. And my chin's got to stay back and down and my head's got to stay up so I'm rocking I can't start doing this anything to do with my head not being stable is going to fuck up everything so I'm pressured back against my the head my head and my chin down and I'm rocking in here so I'm literally breaking elbow slide it's an arm pull and hand drag more than it is an arch and pull right so if you find guys who have problems or women doesn't matter have problems finding their lower lat. Oh my God, my lat's cramping right now. So if I understand that when my arms are caved in and my elbow's bent, I can feel this, my lower lat grabbing already. So I'm just trying to flex into there. Even if I barely move, I'm just trying to break this arm and claw these hands in. It might be a tip too for a lot of people when they're doing back. That's my grip on this. I'm hook gripped on this. So I'm literally clawing this in if i try to pull this in forearm burns out and i also end up starting to roll forward i just want to feel like i'm literally clawing this thing relaxing clawing this thing right so it's a lot of understanding relaxing tension at the end point and just holding on to weight even if i do this with one arm if i'm here and i'm holding it, i'm just clawing so i can posture up like as if i had two i'm just rocking through but that's my grip. I don't have this fucking, if I was to take that grip, yes, I can feel fine, but I'm almost over squeezing where I want to keep that lat relaxed and able to move and my arm relaxed and be pliable, right? I don't want to create this lockdown environment where once this starts getting tired, this starts getting tired, this starts not moving as well. So it might not be heavy. 
God forbid. But if you stand up and you feel your lats and you're contracting parts of your back you've never felt before, I would say that's a win. Get another merch drop, hopefully coming if everything goes as planned, which sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> so like end of October, like around Halloween, this drop will be all hoodies. So last drop was all t-shirts, was all hoodies. Next drop will be a mixture of both again. But uh, just wanted to know you guys comment below. Maybe we can start like a, I'll put up a thing on Instagram too. Just like I know, I know what has sold the best in the merch because I can see analytics and understand, see what's been ordered. I just want your guys' opinion of maybe what shirt is your favorite? What shirt would you want to see? Especially if it was a t-shirt, if you want to see it in a hoodie now or what kind of, like what's your overall theme of like, what do you think is the best, the best shirts? What would you buy again? And maybe other styles, other colors, stuff like that, right? So just to have everyone's input on what's going on or people missed on drops. They missed the first drop. There's something in the first drop that wasn't in the second drop. Let us bring that back and just, it's like, it's cool to go by numbers on the screen and you can see by, oh, this is the numbers you ordered. This was not ordered, but like also a lot of people miss drops and a lot of people like maybe not have had the, the ability to buy all the pieces they wanted or they missed out on something just because they didn't really see it. So now is the time to be like, you know, tell us, bring back that, bring back this. People want this, people want that because I'd rather go by what people are telling me than necessarily just relying on numbers on the screen. So let us know what you guys want. We got new stuff too. <laughs>